Hey guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from ddefranco.com slash ask. Bam! Right there. That's your open forum where you can send your own questions in and just maybe I'll answer those questions in future videos. So yeah, such as this one. Today's question comes from Michael C. Michael says, hey David, I've noticed that none of the key features of iOS 6 are on the iPod Touch and they seem to be drawing attention away from the iPod line. I just did it again. I just... I just lost the question. I closed the tab by accident in Chrome. I'm sad. But he went on just to say, is Apple killing the iPod? And what are your, what are your thoughts on this? So excellent question, Michael. Thank you. And I apologize for exiting out of your question. That's a first for me. But I got to say, Chrome on the Nexus 7 is good. It's just not amazing. Anyway, point aside, Michael brings up an excellent point. Let, OK, let's put this aside. Let's face it, guys. Today's world is all about what? Yes, the iPhone. There you go. Jammy on. And the iPad. And, yeah, even the iPod Touch. But like Michael said, the newest iPod Touch wasn't really even new. They just made it white, and they literally didn't put anything new in it in terms of software. It's still running. Uh, I mean, it might run iOS 6 come fall, but... They didn't really beef up the specs. They didn't upgrade anything except for the color. Now, is that a hint of things to come in terms of the iPod line as a whole? Not yet. I mean, I got to say, we're kind of at the point where iPods and iPhones are obviously merging because, let's face it, iPhones and iPads have the iPod app built in. It's now called Music, but it still acts as an iPod. For instance, last night I had a friend over and we were playing Pandora, it's not the iPod, but still, my point is, this acts as a music player. I was playing Pandora, and I was playing it via AirPlay to my Apple TV, which I love, by the way. Awesome feature. So, what I guess I'm trying to say is, as long as you're of age to have a cell phone or even a tablet, then I don't think there's a real reason to own an iPod, unless you're really, like, kind of OCD and you want, like, just a device for music, which I don't blame you for. I mean... The iPod Classic has a lot more space than the iPhone still does. So if you're really serious about your music and you have tons and tons of albums and songs and podcasts and all that good stuff, then yeah, go for the iPod Classic because personally, I'm still a big fan of the iPod line as a whole. I mean, guys, have you seen my iShrine? I love iPods and I don't plan on stopping my iPod purchases anytime soon. I mean, do I really use them when I purchase them? Honestly, not really. For me, and I'm sure some of you are going to say, what the hell, David? I kind of buy iPods just to collect them. Honestly, I do. I mean, I buy them, I unbox them, I make a few videos, then I put them on the shelf. That's just my new thing. Um, for instance, I don't even use my iPod Nano. I don't even use my iPod Touch. I use this. I use my Nexus 7. I use my iPad. So, to answer your question, Michael, is the iPod line going away? Not yet, because I do firmly think, well, I believe that Apple has something up their sleeve for the fall. I guess we're to the point where Apple can't really do that much more, so they have to do small incremental updates, which I guess is why the iPod Touch didn't receive a big update last year, unfortunately. But hopefully this year we will see some kind of update. All right, well, there you go, Michael. I'm sorry, this has been such a random answer, but Long story short, I do love iPods, and I don't think Apple's going to kill them anytime soon because it is still a very large market, um, and it's just something Apple can't ignore at this point. So, there you go. And, of course, today is a free audiobook day because it is an Ask a Question video. Today's free audiobook is called The Perfect Thing, How the iPod Shuffles Commerce, Culture, and Coolness. Now, if you look at the album art, the cover art, whatever you want to call it, not album art, I guess it could technically be um, why it's audio. That is the iPod Classic. That is my favorite iPod that I own, and I love it. Now, why am I pointing this out? Well, because, honestly, this isn't the newest audiobook. This is from October 20th of 2006. But I figured I'd go for a more retro, classic kind of audiobook today because we're talking about the iPods. And, hey, if you're feeling nostalgic, you could go back in time and listen to this and see what it was like back in 2006. Anyway, getting to the point, today's free audiobook is just $23.93, but what am I saying? For you guys, it's free. 
Check it out. Link is right below. AudibleTrial.com slash the creative one. Click that, sign up, search that audiobook or any or any audiobook for that matter, and it's yours to keep forever. So thank you very much to Audible.com for making that possible. But of course, guys, as always, even bigger thanks to you for watching this video, sending in your questions, commenting below, all that good stuff. I love your support and I look forward to many future videos very soon. Video number 800 is coming up. It's right around the corner. So as always, well, as always in terms of my milestone videos, um, if you guys have any song recommendations for 800, please post below because it's getting really close and honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to post. So give me some ideas, please. And now, sadly, we must part ways. But that's okay, because there's always the next video, right? I'm feeling kind of goofy today. I'm going on a few hours of sleep, but hey, it's cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.